everyone, happy Easter. So today I actually wanted to talk about Divine Mercy because Divine Mercy Sunday is this Sunday, April 28th, but Lauren is actually going to talk about Divine Mercy Sunday on the Gracefully Catholic channel. So I have that linked below, so definitely check out her video and I'll just quickly give a shout out to my Divine Mercy Chaplet audio app. I love that app. It gives me a daily uh, announcement, which is just a section of St. Faustina's diary. And I just love that app because sometimes when I read that daily announcement, it'll be exactly what I need to hear. But especially this week, I've loved it because it's reminded me to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet for the Divine Mercy Novena, uh, which started on Good Friday. So yeah, I have the Divine Mercy app that I love linked below, as well as Lauren's video on the channel Gracefully Catholic. And just a quick reminder that Divine Mercy Sunday is this Sunday. Oh, and I have timestamps linked below if you want to bounce around this video. So since Lauren is already covering Divine Mercy, I thought I would talk about Saint Zita because her feast day is tomorrow, April 27th. So Saint Zita was a 13th century Italian housekeeper and she is the patron saint of maids, homemakers, and all kinds of domestic workers, all domestic workers. She was a saint of such great charity. Even though she worked as a servant, she was very generous with the poor, the imprisoned, and the sick. And she viewed her work as a means of serving God, and throughout her work, she sought God through constant mental prayer and fasting. She regularly attended Mass before the start of her day's work, and one time she was so absorbed in prayer that she was late to work to the time when she should have been making bread, and she rushed to work to the kitchen, and she found that the bread was already made, and she thanked all of the other servants for helping her out, and no one made the bread. No human hands made the bread. So it's believed that angels made the bread for her while she was in prayer. She is actually one of the incorruptibles. Her body today hasn't deteriorated, and her body is in Lucca, Italy. Anyway, I really thought of Saint Zita and the rough life that she lived, the hard labor that she did, and even abuse that she received uh, from her employer, a wealthy family. I thought of her when I was cleaning my car. A lot of Catholics do all of their spring cleaning uh, before Easter, before the Triduum, but I'm very busy during Holy Week. I'm at church every day, so I am still spring cleaning. And confession, for the majority of my life, my car has been filthy. I don't enjoy cleaning the car, and I'm just not really into cars. I just view a car as getting me from A to B, home to church, and you know, I don't really spend that much time in my car other than that, so I have kept my car pretty dirty. So I am trying to change and trying to keep my car clean. So I cleaned my car, it was a lot of work. So I thought I would share with you how I cleaned my car, the interior of the car, to inspire you to tackle any of your spring cleaning projects that you have not gotten to yet. And also think of Saint Zita. She was such a hard worker and she did that work with joy for God. You know, some hard workers today might not be as charitable outside of work because they're thinking, oh, I'm such a hard worker, I just need to rest after work. But we can think of Saint Zita, who was so generous and charitable after her hard day's work. She gave her time and all that she had. She would fast so she could give food to the poor and she would visit the imprisoned and the sick. Also, very quickly, I want to announce the giveaway winners. Thank you so much for subscribing. That's why I did this giveaway, for you, for supporting me, and helping others to find me by subscribing to my channel. 
I like to show you all how I do the giveaways. I use this random name picker. So this is for giveaway one for the pop socket and towel. And the winner is Debbie Grace. Woohoo! And for giveaway two, which is uh, Girl Saints for Little Ones and Consecration to Mary for Little Ones, the winner is Amanda Wells. Giveaway three, this is for Boy Saints for Little Ones and Divine Mercy for Little Ones. And the winner is Natasha Carls. So giveaway four is the book Unplanned by Abby Johnson. And the winner is Bernadette Dietrich. Woohoo! The last giveaway is The Sacred That Surrounds Us. And the winner is Deanne Healy. So if you are one of those five giveaway winners, make sure to email me at everydaycatholicchannel at gmail.com. Just make sure to email me a good mailing address for you. Congratulations to the five of you, and I wish everyone could win, but I'm sure another giveaway is in my future. Okay, now on to that spring cleaning motivation. So as you can see, my car is filthy. Looks pretty gross. A brown crayon melted there, that's why that's brown. Dirty. Very dirty in the back. Seats look okay, but there are some crumbs and things. This is the trunk area, lots of sand from the beach. Very dirty. So I removed um, the little that I had in the back. So it's all empty but dirty. I took out the mats and just tried to shake out what I could. I wish all of the sand would just come off, but it was just kind of stuck. So I took out all of the mats and shook them out. And I just placed them in the back. And now it's time to vacuum. I love vacuuming, just not outside because I get hot and sweaty and I have allergies, but it is super satisfying to vacuum. I also vacuum all these little areas and crevices and the seats. Ah, so clean and then not clean on that side. <laughs> so clean. Okay, now I'm just vacuuming what I can get off of these mats, but again, the sand and dirt was just kind of stuck on there, so I used vinegar, switching to vinegar, and just wiping down the car with vinegar. I love vinegar. Now I'm using vinegar on the mats. This took a while. It was a lot of work. I have a lot of video of me scrubbing these mats with vinegar and shaking them out and scrubbing again. I'm not entirely sure if vinegar is the best product to be using in a car, but I just love vinegar and I am happy with it. So here I am vacuuming under this big mat in the back and wiping it down with vinegar vacuuming again, scrubbing with vinegar again. It was just hard to get some of the sand off because it was just completely stuck. Here it is all clean. Now I have my steamer. It comes with a strap um, so I can steam my seats. I love my steamer. All clean. All clean! I'm so happy that my car is clean. This is very unlike me. My car is usually dirty. But don't compare yourself to me. 
um, because I'm still working on the outside of my car, which is dirty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Easter. I hope you're having a beautiful week. Until next time, bye.